Mr. President and fellow delegates, there are some people from the uh, Northwest Islands of Chu who are in the gallery. Some of them are attending the College of Magnesia here in Pohnpei. I would like to present them for recognition by this convention. Also, Mr. President, I would like to extend my New Year greetings to the people of the Northwest and to express my appreciation for the confidence that they place in me and my colleague, the Delegate Asterio Takesi, to represent them in this convention. I would like to assure them that we are here to work for them, for the beautiful state of Chuk and our beloved Federated States of Micronesia. Having said that, Mr. President, I would like to highlight three, uh, I mean, uh, six antinomies of democracy or principles of constitutionalism in our uh, task of reviewing the Constitution. The first antinomy or principle is that is that is the principle that while the rule of the majority is to be respected, this does not negate the need to protect the interests of the minority. Number two, while our constitution must strive to promote the commonwealth or the interest of the community or the collective interest of the community, it does not, it does not, it should not come at the expense of the individual rights and civil liberties. Number three, it is a common fallacy to equate democracy with formal or one-directional decision-making that finds little support or solace in consensus building an ancient, priceless, Micronesian commodity in decision making. In other words, let the FSM Constitution be a functional equilibrium between the, in, the indigenous system and the pathways of the new wave. The fourth antinomy or principle Our Constitution should not lose sight of is a sense of proportion. Let our Constitution be a balance between rights and obligations, not only for individual citizens, but also governments. In terms of resource elevation and development, that is the fifth antinomy. Let the efficient Constitution be reaffirm as the beacon and clarion call for equality and equity. Finally, the sixth principle that our Constitution should continue to aspire is to maintain a sound balance between spending for the day and saving or investment for tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. President.